it may just be an act of wickedness to quench your dream. You get what I mean? Somebody doesn't like you. You now say you want to travel. You say you are be. Come and travel. Let me see. Whoa! How are you doing today? Okay, so <laughs> there is something amazing going on. Today, I would like to talk to you about how you should protect your study abroad dream. All right, by getting a second opinion, protect your study abroad dream by getting a stud, uh, a second opinion, especially when something that you are hearing is something negative. All right, so <laughs> so again, what is the topic we are dealing with today? The importance of protecting your study abroad dream by getting a second opinion. Especially when the news you are hearing is a negative news. Alright? So, I, I, what actually prompted this topic? I just was chatting with a prospective student right now who was worried. Why? Because somebody, the, pers the student wants to go to Canada. is a male. The, the student wants to go to Canada. And the student has reached out to a friend who is in Canada about study abroad and the friend has told the person that see you cannot come if you don't have a, an older sponsor the thing was so specific that i had to actually wonder where the person got the information from oh my god he said you have to have an older sponsor who is based in nigeria for you to be able to relocate to canada via the study abroad route you know like you know what worries me this information is so specific, filled with details. Do you get what I mean? That you can never suspect that it is a lie. You can never suspect that it's a lie. You know, and the person was worried that, oh my God, right now, I don't have any sponsor living, the, the person is from Nigeria as well. I don't have any sponsor living in my country, Nigeria. So does that mean, <laughs> does that mean my relocation plan is dead? You know this was what was worrying the person before the person reached out to me and as i responded I, I figured that a lot of people may be in the same shoes right a lot of people may be going through the same thing you may be here listening to me right now and you have reached out to somebody that you know that have relocated to the country it could be canada it could be us it could be australia it could be uk it could be poland it could be any country you are going to right and you have reached out to somebody who have relocated to that place and all they are giving you is bad news. Ah, this place is not the place for you to come. Or this, this, that. the question: Why are they still there? Eh? How did they go there? You know? How are they still there? So one thing I want you to do is that once you hear this negative news, always get a second opinion from somebody else different from that person. And if you still hear bad news from the second person you are contacting, get another second opinion. If you still hear bad news, get a second opinion, get a second opinion until it is obvious to the blind that the, they are lying or that what they are telling you is the truth. Okay? You may, if you don't know, you don't know. You may not know that something is a lie or that something is truth. But if you keep getting a second opinion, anytime you get a negative news, you are likely to find somebody who understands, who knows what is going on. <laughs> How can you tell somebody? Like, that without a sponsor living in their own country, a, an older sponsor living in their own country, they cannot relocate abroad through the study abroad routes. Okay. Now, before I go on bashing the person that gave this fake news, okay? I mean the person that gave this fake news. I want you to know that amongst many things, there are at least three things that can... Amongst many things, there are three things that can actually make someone... To give you a fake information you want to hear them there are three things the first one is lack of information there is a high chance that this person too who is talking like the person giving the news giving the information to you the person giving you the wrong information there is a high chance that they don't have the information they don't know perhaps if they knew better if they know better they will have told you better right there is a high chance that they don't know so before I go on bashing them for giving you fake news, I want you to know that one of the three reasons why they may give you that news is because of lack of information. So it's like, forgive them for they don't know what they are saying. 
Do you get what I mean? Forgive them for they know not what they are saying. So that's the first one. The second reason the person may give you that fake news is that maybe they don't have time. It's like you are contacting somebody, contacting somebody, contacting somebody. Truth be told, abroad can be so busy, okay? Abroad can be so busy. Most people in the morning, they are rushing to work. They are coming back. You know, they, they are doing a lot of things. When you are even talking to them, maybe they are driving, trying to text you, trying to make sure that police doesn't catch them driving. Do you get? They are running to work. They are late. Some people are even doing multiple jobs. That's the truth. Because abroad, you get paid a lot of money for the hours you spend at work. But every single minute counts. So imagine this person is on a 15 minutes break and they are responding to you, right? So they may not have time. So it's like... A way to you know the way somebody will be disturbing you, disturbing you. You just want them to shut up. You just be like, see, eh, this thing no go work. It's not possible. You cannot come. You need this, you need that, and you don't have it. Bye bye. It's okay. You can't come. She have responded to you. Do you get like there is a high chance for somebody who doesn't have time for you to give you to give you a fake information. Sometimes the, the information is because they didn't make any research, but they don't even have time to do it. They just want to tell you, you know, they call, we call it telling somebody off. Like, you say something to somebody so that they stop disturbing you. So, this is another reason why somebody abroad can actually give you an information that we end up quenching your dream. And how was the solution to that? Get a second opinion get a second opinion we can't give all the reasons why the person that gave you fake news gave it to you but get a second opinion the third reason <laughs> the third reason is most likely is like unlikely but we still have to call a spade a spade or uh, 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 another reason is that it may just be an act of wickedness to quench your dream you get what i mean somebody doesn't like you you now say you want to travel you say you are be Come and travel, let me see. Oh, road has closed. Even the countries, they are no longer taking people. They are no longer allowing people. You know? They are no longer allowing people to come. Just stay in your house.